Welcome to the Al Jazeera channel where you will learn inventory management as a core operations management activity. In the first video of this series, the inventory ordering policies are discussed. One of the issues addressed by these policies is how much to order. This question can be answered by using the economic order quantity models. The economic order quantity models identify the optimal order quantity by minimizing the sum of certain annual costs that vary with order size and order frequency. Three order size models are there. The basic economic order quantity model. The economic production quantity model. And the quantity discount model. The basic economic order quantity model was explained in the previous video. Now the economic production quantity model will be discussed. This model is used in patch production mode. This model is widely used in production. Even in assembly operations, portions of the work are done in batches. The reason for this is that in certain instances, the capacity to produce a part exceeds the part's usage or demand rate. As long as production continues, inventory will continue to grow. In such instances, it makes sense to periodically produce such items in batches, or lots, instead of producing continually. The economic production quantity model has the same assumption as the economic production quantity model except that instead of orders received in a single delivery, units are received incrementally during production. The assumptions are Only one product is involved. The annual demand requirements are known. The usage rate is constant. The usage occurs continually, but production occurs periodically. The production rate is constant. Lead time does not vary. And there are no quantity discounts. This figure illustrates how inventory is affected by periodically producing a batch of a particular item. During the production phase of the cycle, inventory builds up at a rate equal to the difference between production and usage rates. For example, if the daily production rate is 20 units and the daily usage rate is 5 units, inventory will build up at the rate of 20 minus 5 equals 15 units per day. As long as production occurs, the inventory level will continue to build, when production ceases, the inventory level will begin to decrease. Hence, the inventory level will be maximum at the point where production ceases. When the amount of inventory on hand is exhausted, production is resumed, and the cycle repeats itself. Because the company makes the product itself, there are no ordering costs as such. Nonetheless, with every production run, or batch, there are setup costs. That is the costs required to prepare the equipment for the job, such as cleaning, adjusting, and changing tools and fixtures. Setup costs are analogous to ordering costs because they are independent of the run size. They are treated in the formula in exactly the same way. The larger the run size, the fewer the number of runs needed and, hence, the lower the annual setup cost. The number of runs or batches per year is the annual demand, D divided by the run size, Q, and the annual setup cost is equal to the number of runs per year times the setup cost, S, per run. So, the annual setup cost equals D multiplied by S divided by Q. Consequently, the total cost is TC equals annual carrying cost plus annual ordering cost equals I maximum multiplied by H divided by 2 plus D multiplied by S divided by Q where I maximum is the maximum inventory. Using calculus, the economic production quantity is QP equals the square root of 2 multiplied by D multiplied by S divided by H multiplied by the square root of P divided by P minus U. Where P is the production or delivery rate and U is the usage rate. The cycle time, which is the time between orders or between the beginnings of runs, for the economic run size model is a function of the run size and usage or demand rate. So, the cycle time equals QP divided by U. Similarly, the run time, or the production phase of the cycle, is a function of the run size and the production rate. Hence, the run time equals QP divided by P. The maximum inventory level, I maximum equals QP divided by P multiplied by P minus U. And the average inventory level, I average equals I maximum divided by 2. Let us now solve an example. A toy manufacturer uses 48,000 rubber wheels per year for its popular dump truck series. The firm makes its own wheels, which it can produce at a rate of 800 per day. 
The toy trucks are assembled uniformly over the entire year. The carrying cost is $1 per wheel a year. The setup cost for a production run of wheels is $45. The firm operates 240 days per year. Determine the optimal run size, the maximum inventory, the minimum total annual cost for carrying and setup, the cycle time for the optimal run size, the run time. So, the givens are the demand, D equals 48,000 wheels per year. The setup cost, S equals $45. The carrying cost, H equals $1 per wheel per year. The production rate, P equals 800 wheels per day. The number of working days per year is 240 days. To find the usage rate, U we have to divide D by the number of working days equals 48,000 divided by 240 equals 200 wheels per day. For the first question, we know that the optimal run size is the EPQ equals QP equals the square root of 2 multiplied by D multiplied by S divided by H multiplied by the square root of P divided by P minus U. Substitute by the given values so QP equals the square root of 2 multiplied by 48,000 multiplied by 45 divided by 1 multiplied by the square root of 800 divided by 800 minus 200 equal 2,400 wheels. The second question is to find the maximum inventory which equals QP divided by P multiplied by P minus U equals 2400 divided by 800 multiplied by 800 minus 200 equals 1800 wheels. The third question is to determine the minimum total annual cost for carrying and setup. TC minimum equals I maximum multiplied by H divided by 2 plus D multiplied by S divided by QP equal 1800 multiplied by 1 divided by 2 plus 48000 multiplied by 45 divided by 2400 equals $1800. The fourth question is to calculate the cycle time for the optimal run size that equals the optimal run size divided by the usage rate or QP divided by U equals 2400 divided by 200 equal 12 days. While the last question is to find the runtime that can be calculated by dividing the optimal run size by the production rate or QP divided by P equals 2400 divided by 800 equals 3 days. Let us now solve a problem. A chemical firm produces sodium bisulfate in 100 pound bags. The demand for this product is 20 tons per day. The capacity for producing the product is 50 tons per day. The setup costs $100, and the handling costs are $5 per ton a year. The firm operates 200 days a year. Note, 1 ton equals 2,000 pounds. Answer the following questions. How many bags per run are optimal? What would the average inventory be for this lot size? Determine the approximate length of a production run, in days. About how many runs per year would there be? The givens of this problem are one bag weights 100 pounds, the demand, or usage rate equals 20 tons per day, the production rate is 50 tons per day, the setup cost equals $100 and the carrying cost is $5. The first question is to find the number of bags per run for optimal cost. It is known that the optimal run size is the EPQ equals QP equals the square root of 2 multiplied by D multiplied by S divided by H multiplied by the square root of P divided by P minus U. To find QP we have to calculate the demand, D first. Where D equals the usage rate, U, multiplied by the number of working days in a year. That is equal to 20 multiplied by 200 equals 4000 tons. Now we can find QP by substituting by the given values so QP equals the square root of 2 multiplied by 4000 multiplied by 100 divided by 5 multiplied by the square root of 50 divided by 50 minus 20 equals 516 tons. To convert this value to bags multiply it by 2000 and divide by 100 because 1 ton contains 2000 pounds and 1 bag contains 100 pounds. This equal 10320 bags. The second question is, what would the average inventory be for this lot size? We know that the average inventory equals the maximum inventory divided by 2 and the maximum inventory equals QP divided by P multiplied by P minus U. So, 
I maximum equals 516 divided by 50 multiplied by 50 minus 20 equals 309.6 tons. Consequently, the average inventory equals 309.6 divided by 2 equals 154.8 tons. The third question is to determine the approximate length of a production run, in days. The length of the production run equals QP divided by P equals 516 divided by 50 equals 10.32 approximately equal to 10 days. The last question is to find the number of runs per year. To determine the number of runs per year simply divided the demand, D, by the economic production quantity, QP, which is equal to 4000 divided by 516 equals 7.75 approximately equals 8 runs. One solved example is explained and another problem is solved to illustrate the economic production quantity model. If you need more details or more solved problem do not hesitate to contact me. In the next video, the quantity discount model will be explained. So, keep following us. If you did not do yet subscribe to the Al Jazeera channel and activate the alarm to be notified of the new videos. Goodbye.